Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Bladecraft 10 Lives. And as you can see, I did some work with our little farms. We moved them from there to here, and now you can see I got a big giant potato farm. A carrot farm and, and the obvious wheat farm. We also did a little bit more work on the sugar cane. And we have now a row of pumpkins and a row of melons. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we... And I need to move for that. Did some more work at the villager trading there. Um, but now, I need one essential thing... To make, uh, let's get into water. To make the um, automatic melon and pumpkin farm, we need one more item to build the ginormous melon and pumpkin farm that will be automations. And for that, uh, we have to go to the nether. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going today to uh, the nether. And for that, of course, we need... Yes. Obsidian. So, now, let me get some obsidian. Let me get a portal ready. And as you can see, we have now, though, a, a five of uh, the... Uh, how do they call themselves? Masons? Stone masons? Um, because they are trading stone, and they are trading quartz blocks, quartz pillars, and um, that is brilliant, because we need those at a certain point. We can also trade with them uh, some nether quartz, but we won't do that, because quartz is just a thing that we want. And the diorite we can uh, get rid of right with this guy. So that's perfect. We still have all the guys with all the books. We got a looting three though. We got now the mending book uh, and the bane of aquapods. And we have unbreaking three. We have efficiency five and blast protection four. We got a fortune three and we got soak touch. So we got them all already. And we got those five guys as well. So that's the reason why I got everything already in diamond gear. And we are working on these guys. <laughs> this guy, we didn't trade yet. Because I ran out of villagers. And as you can see, we already started breeding a couple of more. Um, also, one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys all for uh, sharing and uh, liking the videos. Um, we are now so, so close to 100 subscribers. So if you didn't subscribe yet, then please hit that giant subscribe button down below and uh, let me welcome you guys to the Blade Army because the Blade Army is growing and growing. And uh, yeah, let's get some obsidian and I uh, will be back with you. And look at that, 31. How do you, uh, obsidian, damn, okay. I <laughs> I lost there uh, for a sec how uh, how you call it, but we can now do this and we can uh, tear down these blocks and we can put up a giant enormous uh, one here. So we are going to do five, six, I think. Put it like that. And then we have a three row. Yeah. Okay. So and it's going to be a nine by nine. Okay. So that's that's the hole too high. That's the hole three high. That's the hole not high enough. And then just like that. Now we uh, jump down. And now we got a three by three hole. But... Of course, we don't want um, those uh, weird little guys uh, going through the portal. So we aren't going to get some double deep slate into 
keeps the tiles this time. Then we are going to block off the back side of it. Not the inside though. Back side of it. Now we even are busy with it. Maybe we can uh, fully plug it in. Does that look? Ooh, that looks amazing though. Okay, let me get some more tiles though. That's normal deep slate. This is the default deep slate. Sometimes I'm get getting confused by using my diff two different types of pickaxes. Um, look at that. Looks cool. And then we can have a small entrance right here. Now I did take my shovel. And we throw a little bit more land here. Like that. Of course, we don't want to have some piglin spawn to here, so make it like this. And maybe not. Give it a sec. Get some uh, staircases. We can also make that from these. So. Just like that. Brilliant. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It is. Right? It is good, right? Eat real quick. Sleep a little real quick. And ladies and gentlemen, light the portal. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. We are about to go into the uh, portal. But before we do that, let's clear our inventory a little bit more. We got some shit that we don't want to take with us. Uh, ores. Even more ores. And if you didn't know, I am still collecting the deep slate. A lot of it. Um, stairs. Uh, coal can go in here. Iron can go in here. And the rest of the merchandise we can just put in here for now. In here, this bucket needs to be in here. Um, this one needs to be on me at all time because if there's a guest on the other side, we can at least do something about it. And now let's bring some building blocks with me. Maybe we got a good spawn, but it is time. For us to join uh, June in the nether, because June has already been in the nether. So let's hop into the nether and let's see where we go. We don't necessarily have a bad spawn. We might need to be careful though with the uh, the Zoglins. 
a big giant new uh, really dick fat boys and we might need to be very careful of them as well the piglins that is not a bad bad spawn though it could be better, but... Don't have it better this time. And literally, that is what we all here for. Dissolve all this lava right here. Create a nice little pothole right there. The lava to be in. Go. Now I need to take my soap touch pickaxe to get these as well. Getting nether quartz is very, very awesome. Yee. Don't do this too quickly, though. So now I want to build up. Get some glowstone. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's a big one. Um, I forgot to bring my spade. <laughs> or the shovel. But, um, yeah, let me get back to my home and I will be back when I'm there. Now we got the last bits of the farm items that we need. Let's get into uh, the time lapse real quick. And let's start building this whole giant farm that we are going to build with this all together. So... Roll the time lapse.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. And as you see, everything is working already. So what is happening here? So these are detecting the growth of this one. And then this one smashes. So as soon as there is a pumpkin connected to it, this updates, he gets an update, and then the piston will uh, drop down. It also counts for this one. And so on and so on. Because of the redstone above here. And as you can see, I already started a second one. Uh, the, but there will be eight in total. But I won't bore you with that uh, being constructed. And as you can see, what we also need is glass. So we will have around here, we will have the glass walls. Um, the full size block of glass, because if we use planes, it will get on the edge of the rock. And we don't want that. So that is what we are doing right now. Let me finish these and uh, I will be back when they're all completed. And as it should be, there is also something in there already. But uh, yeah, let's uh, build the rest of them. And I will be back when I have them done. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the pumpkin and melon farm completely done. Except one little thing, and that's the back window on that side. But here is a little overview of the whole farm right now. As you can see, it is running pretty well and pretty smooth. And uh, yeah, this is uh, how it is now. And uh, let me AFK here for and a half an hour and let me get back to you guys when I have done that and uh, show you the results because that is where it's all about. And here we are, and half an hour later, and that is my AFK room. Let's see what it did. Oh, we got two and a half stacks. Two and a half stacks. Not, not, not entirely a two and a half. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. And we got some melons. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is working like a charm. L look at that. I think it's, this is not even going to fit in my inventory. So we have to craft the melons. There we go. There you go. And I think the, uh, the pumpkin and melon farm are still not at 100% running, though. Um, is there anything like... The pumpkins need to be full grown. And I think they all are. It seems to be that they all have grown up. The only thing is that the melon farms are not fully grown yet. As you can see, there are still a little couple of stems there that are not fully grown. L look at that. This is what it needs to be. That is it. So they are not fully grown yet, but they are producing a lot, a lot of items. And that's perfect because of that is something we can trade with our villagers again. And that's almost everything that we do is uh, trading with the villagers. Because we need emeralds, 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 emeralds. And talking about emeralds, there is a way for me to get even more emeralds in a way faster solution than uh, this. And uh, that solution is called a double stacked rate farm. If you want to see that being built, then please consider subscribing. Um, we are just so close to a hundred subscribers. What I already said in the beginning of the video as well. 
And we got now a stack of emeralds again. That's great. Um, in the meanwhile, I uh, did also have a bunch of these guys. And I'm starting with these guys. Um, and there will be a couple of more. Um, now I have been in the nether as well. We can start with the uh, brewing stands as well. So we can trade in rotten flesh. And oh, how to get rotten flesh than other to build a ginormous uh, mob farm. And uh, I think I'm going to build that uh, real quick. And uh, show you uh, how that is done. Now we can get into the nether. So, and after a couple of days, some things did happen over here. As you see, the mob farm is completely done. What I promised to do. Now, let's get over there real quick. If I can swim this time. Yes, I can. Don't die. Um, we got an AFK spot on all on the top. That's why uh, the big giant beam is there. Um, that's a water elevator. I cased it in into a white glass. Got put some fires over there because some spiders decide not to die. And as you can see, we got a collection system down below. And look at that. It is producing a lot of items already. So that's brilliant and perfect. But there is also something else that happened. We have a fourth person join the server. And her name is Angie. And uh, she was living on the other side um, of my base. Somewhere over there. And, um, yes, he found herself more at my base than at her base herself. So what did she decide to do? She decided to move here on the other side of her lovely, lovely melon and pumpkin farm. Over there. We got now a bridge over here. Oh, look at that. There is the base of Angie and um, yeah if you're wondering why we got a giant pillar of dirt right here yeah we decided also a little bit to get some achievements inside Minecraft and one of them is trade with a, uh, trade with a villager on sky limit the thing is now welcome to 1.19 the sky limit is is on 320 blocks high. So it went a little bit more up in the sky. But uh, this is what I have time for for today. And uh, if you enjoyed it, then smack that like button and smack that subscribe button. And um, yeah, also smack that bell icon to get notified when uh, I upload uh, a new video uh, on the channel. And uh, also, uh, head down in the description down below. There is a link to my Twitch channel. Also, hit that follow button there. And uh, keep getting a post when I am live on Twitch. So you can interact with me as well on there. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Okay.